Hi, I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. I'm going to answer a few questions that people have asked in the comments. I mentioned in the first video that I'm sharing a room this year and somebody asked uh, how that works, what happens if I don't like the person. Well at Queen's, first years don't share, first year you get your own room. Halfway through first year, you decide where you want to stay in your second year. Still in Queen's, but you get a choice of room. And you get a choice of whether you share or not. And if you choose to share, you get to choose who you share with, so it, that's not an issue. I don't know how it works in all colleges. I imagine there's at least one college where you don't get the choice. And in that case, I, I don't know what the protocol is. Just put up with the person, try not to kill them. But I don't have that problem. So you might then wonder why I would choose to share in second year, given the choice of my own room. All the second years tend to be in this one building, and all of the rooms are shared. So if you don't share a room, you end up on the other side of college, which looks quite lonely. There are not enough rooms for everyone to have a single room, so some people have to share anyway. And there's a chance of getting a better room next year if you share this year. A few of you have asked about studying and how I do that. I'm not sure how to show this in a video in an interesting way because it's basically just sitting down in silence for a while and doing work. The way it works with computer science is you've obviously seen uh, a lot of the lectures we have three lectures every day. That's where we're meant to learn all of the content and then we get set supervision work which tests that we have actually learned stuff. The different places you can work, you can work in the library or any of the other libraries around Cambridge. Every college has a library, there's the university library, every department has a library. Personally, I prefer just to work in my room and work is generally just answering questions that a supervisor has set and if I don't know the answer, I look through the lecture notes to try to find the answer. If I still don't understand something, I Google it, I watch a YouTube video last resort, I go, actually go to the library and find a book on the subject. I tend to find with computer science, most of the stuff I need to know about is already on the internet. So there's nothing too exciting about studying at Cambridge. If you have any more specific questions, let me know. I'll answer them or just show you how things work here at Cambridge. Cambridge is full of coach drivers going the wrong way and trying to turn around. Days in autumn when the sun is out are always pretty nice. Cambridge is a beautiful city in every season and it'll snow in a couple of months in winter. It's hard to enjoy that sometimes when you're a student here and you spend all your time working, a lot of the time indoors, and when you're outdoors it's because you're rushing between supervisions and lectures. I would certainly recommend Cambridge as a city that anyone should visit. I'm getting funny looks from everyone who cycles past me. Walking along with my arms stretched out probably does look a bit strange. Talking to myself as well. In the computer design lecture, we were shown a video made in the 70s about an old computer that EDSAC made in the 40s. I just had my second supervision of term. It went quite well, there were three of us and a PhD student. Supervisions are organised by college. It's largely up to my director of studies to find and pay the supervisors. Then it's up to the supervisor and me as a student to organise times and in a lot of cases organise the supervision groups as well. I think I mentioned before that I have about five supervisions a week. This is something that depends obviously on subject and college since college organised the supervisions. For the supervision that I've just had we got given a past exam question to do the week before and then we handed in, he marks it and then we went over it in the supervision then talked about other things we didn't understand which is a normal way for a computer science supervision to work. One of our lecture courses is Mathematical Methods for Computer Science and I'm doing the first set of supervision work for that course today. Supervisions are small group teaching sessions. We get a guy who's really good at this, the subject, a um, PhD student or a graduate who now works in that area, something like that. Teaches us in groups of two or three. We get work to do in advance of the supervision. We've got work on Markov chains, uh, which asks stuff about n-step transition matrices. Even though I've been to all of the lectures, I don't understand any of this. I'm now learning this stuff from YouTube. Lectures are great for some people, but they don't work for me. And because of that, this is the reality of spending nine thousand pounds a year on education. This is the very small computer room with a very big printer. The mouse doesn't work on the table so the, the scanner is being used as a mouse mat. A nice new clean hygienic keyboard. Basics ham for lunch. 
Monday morning, in the middle of week three, because Cambridge week starts on Thursday. It is weird like that. There were meant to be pretty bad storms last night and this morning, which sounded exciting, but it's just really, really wet instead. The Cambridge University Music Society is abbreviated to CUMS. I've been doing supervision work for over three hours now, prologue work in fact, the, the declarative programming language. All the questions are online here. I'm writing all of the answers out on paper. I've done number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm up to number ten. There are 15 questions all together in section one, then I have to move on to section two. Finally finished this prologue work. I need to go and scan it now to email it to my supervisor. I've come to the library to scan my work because it's got a really cool photocopier. Scan my unicard. Put in all of the work. Then it has this scan to email function. Absolutely lovely weather for the middle of October. Two lectures and two supervisions today, followed by a lot of supervision work tonight. For the second time this week, we got shown this famous video of a bridge in the 40s collapsing. Then we had a supervision, but our supervisor didn't show up. We wasted half of the supervision looking for him in the lab. <laughs> 